Hello, hello, this is Greymerk. Let's take a look at what's new with the game today. So I haven't worked on this in a couple weeks or so. I've been busy with other stuff, and so I just wanted to take a bit to kind of refresh on what's changed because I did work on this a bit. Uh, so there's two main things that have changed. I made some modifications to how weapons actually work internally, and this is reflective of uh, how items work. And I also wanted to show the explosions bell, which is something that I worked on. So let's take a look at what the changes to the way that weapons work means. So if you take a look at weapon, there's only one class for all types of weapons. Um, they're provided by these functions that you can use to get certain types of weapons. I'm, I'm, I haven't figured out a good way to generalize this, but I probably will uh, make it into something that will be able to sort through the archetypes of the unit that is being provided a weapon and then resolve what should be given. Um, but this is how a weapon is created. So you give it a name, a damage range, and uh, so this is like it does between three to seven damage and then an actual firing range. So this can go six squares. And then this is the class that defines the behavior for the spell that's cast. And then you have the color that's, that is used by the um, effect that is cast, whether it's a lightning bolt or I don't have not actually put lightning bolts in, but I do want to do that at some point. But whatever type of effect that's used, it can reference this and say, what's the item's color? And then it'll use that. So it'd be like orange fireballs and so forth. So that's kind of how that works. Um, so I can go here and I'll just show you the explosion spell. So it casts a star there and then what happens is that it gets all the nearby locations and then it casts another star at that location. And one thing that it does is it checks to see if there's any friendly units nearby. And if there are, then it skips it. So that's something that the AI naturally does. So let's see if I can make that happen so you can see it. Um, I will try to move into range there. And, oh dang it, didn't reach in time. See, this, this character is no longer casting explosions. So it can't really do anything because uh, the a friendly target is near the uh, location. So that's kind of a, that's kind of a fun thing. So um, another thing that this new system allows you to do, and I'll just sort of show that really quick, is delete the game save and go in here and change this to uh, green or something. Let's try green. I don't know if that's a valid name. But we'll find out. Should be. So cast explosion and you get green explosions. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, it makes it really easy to create a large variety of weapons, I guess. So you can even like you can make fireball shoot really far. Like you can just here. Let's try it again. Oops. Let's use fireball. Uh, fireball. <laughs> it's so it could go so far it goes off the screen. <laughs> so that's a what what this means is that I don't need to kind of come up with a whole bunch of different variations of items and then put them into a table or something. I can actually just use randomization to uh, pick a name and then you know maybe and then just randomly select a uh, damage range and then pick a, an actual weapon range and a color 
maybe you have a randomized color provider that I'll come up with at some point. It would be kind of neat to be able to just have uh, have it generate these colors randomly or do something like that. Um, so then I'll be able to maybe make a weapon provider that's a, that you can give a uh, level to. And so you could say, give me a level five weapon and then it'll scale up the damage and everything. Uh, so you'll be just rooting through randomly generated items that you find as loot and figuring out whether it's an improvement for that for one of your characters or something uh, so that's how weapons are going to work weapons and abilities um, characters aren't going to have innate spells again so it's all going to be about loot um, so that's kind of what I wanted to show I think in a nutshell and uh, I just wanted to mention I guess what it was that I was planning to do whenever I get around to it, is I want to actually next try to get it so that you can pick up items and drop items and do stuff like that. Uh, eventually what I want to have is I want to have an actual inventory screen so that when you open up your inventory it'll... My thought was to sort of split the screen into two, like an upper and lower half for the game interface and then have it so that your character's inventory is down here and then the items will be shown in slots right here and then you'll be able to maybe move stuff up and down to a paper doll that'll be like right here or something and then you'll have maybe your available actions somehow represented um, so you know you have armor and then you'll have weapons in an array so it'll be like a, a, a bunch of slots that you can equip so that when you hit your cast, then this list will reflect the spells or the, the items that you stick into the slots here. So that should be cool. Um, and then eventually, that will hopefully be a general system so that if you walk up to a chest and you interact with it, then it'll show up the, the chest inventory up at the top and then your personal inventory down at the bottom and if you um, interact with one of your party members it'll be the same thing you'll be able to interact with their inventory uh, with your inventory down here and uh, then you can of course switch to the other character and open your inventory and then move the new item up or or whatever so that's kind of those are the things that I would like to get working next. That's kind of my my grand design. So we'll see if I can get that to work. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you next time. If I feel up to it, I may try to actually do some of this stuff on camera. But uh, usually what happens is I wind up just kind of getting really silent and wondering why stuff doesn't work. And <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm feeling quite up to that yet. But we'll see. So have a good one, and I'll see you next time.